Er, work telekinesis powers. Er, uh, where's my stool? Stool, where you at? Oh, uh, this is awkward. I didn't see you there. I gotta get my mac and cheese off the top shelf. I wish I wasn't so short. I wouldn't have this many problems. But being short gives me an excuse to jump on the counters. Okay, while I make my mac and cheese, let's go to today's shark scoop. Hi guys, I mean, hey guys. I'm doing my laundry and this always happens to me, but I have a single sock stuck at the bottom of the washer. If only I wasn't so short. Here it is. Got it. I've been trying to get this sock for the past two hours. Oh, getting a phone call. Hello? Oh, hey dad, what's up? You want me to come out back? Something big is happening. I'll be right there. My dad wants me to go out back. Something big is happening. Meanwhile, let's go to the shark shenanigans. Uh, hello, I exist. C can you move please? Uh, huh. Hello? Dad, I'm right behind you. Under you! I hope you learned from my experience. Be nice to small people. And remember, you'll never be small if you have a big heart. Jaden Smith, TSE News. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Bear Grylls. I've been dropped somewhere in Florida. I don't know exactly where, but I'm in the wilderness as usual. Looks like it's almost sundown. It also might rain, but you know how Florida weather is. Unpredictable. While I get the sticks and stones to make a fire for warmth tonight, let's go to today's shark scoop. I see a herd of cows over there. I might have to harvest the meat or skin them for warmth. You may want to cover small children's eyes for this next part. Oh, let's just go to the top story. It's a lot easier. Ladies and gentlemen, these are not ordinary calves. These are woodland giants and their horns are seven foot long. How does that even happen? How do they grow that big? Cameraman, you run slower. Why? Because they only you and not me. <laughs> the camera is the only thing left of my cameraman Bobby. They ate him whole. My clothes are all torn. I'm cold and I'm tired. And the only one that can help me is is. <laughs> My mommy. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's me, your cell phone. Now, I know you love me. In fact, you can't put me down. But you are a lot more important than little old me. Lucky for you, I'm here to give you tips on cell phone safety. So, here we go. So this is where you are most of your day. Now, this is where you should also always put me away, or else you'll end up like the 16 million other people who got in car crashes this year. Now, I know you'll miss me, but as long as you do one of the following tips, adapted from www.thedriveusa.com, you'll be safe. One, turn me on silent. Two, completely turn me off. Three, put me in the glove box or the trunk, out of reach. Or four, download an app that prevents you from texting while driving, like Haya. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Listen, you need to watch where you're going. Texting and walking isn't funny anymore. Yeah, walk without your phone next time. I'm not lying. Walking and texting is a hazard to you and everyone around you. They even have signs and apps to prevent it. So remember, cross the street, Stop, then update your Facebook. Hello? Is anybody there? This is what really gets under my circuit boards. 
people who don't have correct text etiquette. Now let me teach you more about texting etiquette and ways you can be better on the phone. Always identify yourself. From a cell phone, either simply say hello or state your name. Hello, cell phone here. Do not answer with words such as yes or yeah. Be sensitive with the tone of your voice. Do not sound overly anxious, aggressive, or pushy when you are on the phone. So now you know. Don't text and drive, don't text and walk, and always use your cell phone etiquette. Your cell phone, TSE News. I'm Jaden here at Two Infinity. Oh my gosh. Hold on, I need to catch more breath. Okay. There are so many cool things to do here, from swinging on trapeze to jumping on walls. Today's hot topic question is, what do you like doing here at 2 Infinity? It seems like all the sharks like the activities here at 2 Infinity, and I know you will too. So why don't you make plans and come on and bounce? Jaden Smith, TSE News. Good morning, everyone. My name is Jaden, and I have some very important information to share with you. Do you like video games? I do, and I know that a lot of people my age do too. But this hobby comes with some very negative side effects such as homework can become neglected, relationships can suffer, and students can even become less aware of pain. To find out more about the cons of video games, here's Kayla with today's top story. Did you know that whenever you play video games, the risk for Alzheimer's becomes much greater? And whenever you play video games, you aren't as active. So get out, be active, and play in one of the LG sports teams. Thinking of joining? Here's Karen with today's Shark Scoop. Video games can be very time consuming and can also be very expensive. To find out how much the sharks have spent on a video game, here's Calissa with today's Hot Topic question. Do you feel that all the video games you played last night are getting to your head? Well, here's Wandy with today's brainstorming question. When teens play video games constantly, they put their health at risk later in life. Diabetes, obesity, and even Alzheimer's disease have been linked to video game usage. So next time you go to play Call of Duty, stop. Unplug and save yourself. Jaden Smith, TSE News.